Now, I'm not going to make it in its entirety, but I am going to use it as a teaching opportunity to show you guys how you can solve a big problem with polygonal modeling that has plagued modelers for years now. Particularly, how we can get sharp angles on smooth surfaces, one of the most difficult things to do with polygons. So, we're going to solve the hamster ball problem with 3ds Max Re topology tools and conform as well. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course. Link is in the description. Let's continue. So... The biggest problem here is that we have to model these very sharp angles on a curved surface. This is one of the most difficult things to do with polygons. And so, let's explain why it's difficult and how you can use conform to fix these kinds of things. So pretty much, here we have, let's just start with a sphere. Actually, no, let's start with a box. Alright, and I'm just going to... Give it this same length with height and then turbo smooth and then we're going to apply spherify i'm also going to center the pivot and center the object in the world i'm going to reset it and i'll reset the x form as well all right so let's particularly look at this part right here all right, so if I were making this, there would be several ways that I would do this. So let me give this a gray object color. What I can do, one of the things is that I can, for example, use cut and activate the split option. And so what that would do is actually split it up. So for example, I could cut like this and I could switch to the element level and just detach this, for example. And I'm not modeling this exactly. I'm just want to show you the situation. All right, so we've got this. All right, so next, so this is a curved surface. Next, we want to model, and we already have bad topology happening here. We already have n-gons. Well, actually, this is a quad, but here's an n-gon. Here's a triangle. Here's a triangle. Here's an n-gon. So the situation is already foobar, basically. But then we start to, you know, add these kinds of cuts here. You know, once again, we can activate the split option. So, you know, just kind of cut one and then we got this and so you know we got this happening here all right now we can switch to elements and we can just detach this as well all right so you can keep this as the same object but i like to just have them several objects that way you can even apply different little object colors and materials to them very easily although if they are the same object you can just use multi sub object material for that so you notice how the situation is already really messed up here so we can consider this video to be kind of a warm-up for how to use this so pretty much what we can do is just click on retopology. And so the thing is, if we use 5000 and compute, it's going to be bad because it's going to project. You see how it becomes very kind of faster here? Because one of the biggest rules about using retopology is that you want to have a simpler number here than the original density. So what we're going to do is just to decrease the face count until it is no longer angular like this. So we're going to have to go much lower. Let's try 500. All right. Let's try 200. All right. So that is much more reasonable. And we can probably even go lower. Let's try 50. Let's just see what that gives us. All right. So that is much better. And so then I'm going to apply it apply on top. So it's pretty stable. But just to prevent problems, we can just collapse this. And what we're going to do is just activate snap. You can right click here, make sure it's set to vertex snap. And as you can see, we topology kind of gives us this sometimes. So I'm just going to snap it right here and kind of, there we go. Just kind of fill it up like this. So there we go. That is how you can use max root topology to fix these kind of traditional problems when it comes to using sharp angles on these smooth surfaces. Now you may still get a little bit of imperfections here. And that's where conform comes in handy. So if it's not quite as smooth as you like it, well, we have our original sphere here. What I'm going to do is just copy this 
and also select this object and isolate that and I can just delete at a poly here and I could just make sure it's super smooth here and so just to fix things up a little bit I'm going to go into freeform make sure to set the surface select the spheres the surface and then make sure the offset is just zero and then just conform and it's going to just make it a little bit more perfect there we go so this is pretty much the best way to handle these kind of situations with these kinds of hamster balls I know people have been in trouble with this hamster ball for years now, but I have just shown you what I think is the best solution for dealing with it. And the topology is still nice and quad, so it's very easy to add further detail. Let's repeat the workflow for this. There are also some other options which we can go into detail, but for example, you can increase regularize to one. Maybe you can increase adaptivity as well all right as you notice this time it maintains the sharpness very well here and so one thing i like about these new topology tools is that the topology all the time gives me ideas for where the design can go further on so for example i can then apply shell and let's have it go in remote and so I see this nice shape happening here. Now, a lot of times people see topology as a limitation, but it can also be an inspiration as well. So I can do that. And for example, I can, I like to do it on a new add apply modifier. I can just, you know, bevel this out and have this happening here, apply. Then I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to just decrease the height. So as you notice, we can actually use the topology itself. Although in this situation, I don't quite like this. So I think we want to avoid this. But I just want to show you how I can quickly just combine these things. And so notice how we get these nice, clean results. So this is how you can solve the hamster ball problem with 3ds Max Retopology. Thank you for watching and take care.